When the pandemic first hit Siouxland, tribal communities were some of the first to implement health mandates like curfews. The move, a direct effort to protect the elderly within their community. KCAU 9 News reporter Lydia Vasquez has a closer look at what that fight looks like today and its effect on tribal members. It's our top story tonight at 10. One of the first things that the tribe did was to implement, implement a mask mandate, so that was very early on in the pandemic. The tribe also implemented a curfew. Danielle Smith is CEO of the Winnebago Comprehensive Healthcare System. She says the curfew remains in effect today. Starting at 10 p.m., it helps reinforce the need for people to stay home and not socialize as much as possible. But at the same time, mandates like a curfew and limited gatherings can be isolating, causing additional issues for some tribal members. It's developed a high stress environment, I think, in our community. Winnebago tribal member Aaron Lapointe says the pandemic has taken a toll on the community and its many traditions. From a traditional standpoint in the community as a tribe, a lot of times our elders are the people that, that we cater to, that come to our Thanksgiving and we share, we spend time with them, they share stories with us and it's, it's an enjoyable time, but we didn't get to do that this year because a lot of our elders are high risk, so we want to protect them. LaPointe says many traditional activities have been put on hold, but he says he's grateful the tribe is putting forth different efforts to help ease the stress. If somebody is unable to isolate or quarantine in their home, the tribe has made available um, a pretty robust quarantine and isolation housing program. So we do have places for people to go if they need a place to stay that's not in their own home. Smith adds the tribe is also using existing facilities like dorms at Little Priest Tribal College to house people exposed to COVID-19. Winnebago's travel ban was lifted in November, but a mask mandate and curfew remain. In Winnebago, Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.